Welcome back to the Clay Free Show. What's up everybody, today we got a brand new video and in today's video we're actually going to be talking about Howie Hawkins. He is a third party Green Party candidate in uh, this 2020 election cycle and you know he's a very interesting candidate and if Bernie's not in it I'm either not going to vote probably or vote for Howie Hawkins because he represents uh, my ideals and my ideals and uh, where I stand politically so uh, I figured a lot of you might be curious about what exactly Howie Hawkins stands for so I figured I would go ahead and give like a little policy breakdown and then you know if you enjoyed this one then we can do it for like all of the candidates but yeah let's go ahead and get started so um let's go ahead and get started with abortion first and foremost because that's like the most controversial controversial thing or a controversial topic uh especially down here in the south for me uh abortion is kind of like a topic nobody really talks about but um for sure he supports uh reproductive rights and he is for a woman's right to choose and he's been that way since like 2006 or something like that and um so yeah i mean he's just he's the right he's on the right side of history on that side of things so yeah that's very very important he also wants to socialize big banks and manage the national currency and increase social services while decreasing military and police yeah he's actually called for a 75 percent cut on military spending which is actually way more bold than even bernie sanders was proposing so um that's pretty good news um i'm all in favor of cutting military budget if that means that we're gonna spend that money elsewhere uh and help society in another way that's always awesome and i support that so uh yeah he's got me there um yeah <laughs> He also wants to amend the Civil Rights Act to include LGBTQIA+, and uh, he's for reparations of African Americans uh, and descendants of slavery, uh, which is very, very important. You know, uh, a lot of candidates aren't talking about it. Bernie's not talking about that. Um, Joe Biden sure as hell isn't talking about that. Uh, you know, Marianne Williams was really the last person in the race considering it. Actually, I, I believe Tom Steyer was. Uh, but yeah, Tom Steyer was, you know, I think he was just saying it just to kind of get uh, a little bit of black support in South Carolina because I think he was just really riding off that state. But that's a video for another day. So he wants to pass more civil rights laws, which I'm always in favor of. Um, big civil rights guy right here. So <laughs> uh, very supportive of that. And um, he also wants to end racial profiling. Um, and he doesn't really go into detail on how he's going to do that, but he is against racial profiling obviously so <clears throat> when it comes to um jobs and that sort of thing he actually he's actually a socialist and a lot of people don't know that but he actually uh thinks that capitalism exploits workers he's also in favor of um ending mandatory minimum sentencing so uh, if you don't know what mandatory minimum sentencing is uh, it doesn't matter what you do, as long as you have X amount, then it doesn't matter the entire details, you have to serve a minimum amount of time. Um, and that's not really a popular opinion, but it is what our um, criminal justice system has ran with for a very, very long time. And I think it's time that we end that as a society and uh, move forward. He's also in favor of ending the death penalty, which is something that I've always been supportive of. I don't think the death penalty um, is, you know, morally correct, but also we get the wrong guy sometimes. So I don't, do not support the death penalty. I think we should abolish the death penalty as soon as possible uh, through executive order. I believe you could probably do that. So, um, you know, let's do it in the death penalty. Drug abuse treatment should be available on demand. That is another policy of his. And I agree. I think if uh, you're an addict, you're not a criminal, but you have a health issue and you need to be treated by a professional. And I think this uh, treatment needs, needs to be free and it needs to be um, it, it needs to be known that you're not going to get in trouble for seeking help for an addiction that is hurting your life. Um, he also is in favor of um, uh, shutting down Big Pharma to a certain extent. And he thinks that Big Pharma uh, actually uh, pushes these addictive opioids for profit for the public. And I happen to agree. I think Big, Pro uh, Big Pharma is actually absolutely a um, cancer on our society. And they need to be um, dealt with properly. 
He's also in favor of ending the war on drugs, which is another thing that, you know, I happen to support. So, so far, this guy has got me 100%. And, you know, it's very, very, it's a very, very interesting platform and almost even more liberal than Bernie. So, actually, I would say it's more uh, liberal than Bernie. And we will we'll get to that when it comes to um, climate. And when it gets to foreign policy, y'all see exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, we're actually there now. So, um, <laughs> he's actually support, well, 100% uh, supportive of 100% clean energy by 2030 and rebuild manufacturing. He wants to socialize big oil and invest in renewables. And he's also the original Green New Dealer. Uh, so, he's the first person to propose the Green New Deal. Uh, very supportive of it from the very beginning. Um, so, if you want the grandfather of the Green New Deal, this is your guy. So, he also wants more mass transportation. And I agree. I think uh, public transportation is a very, very big thing that we need to invest in. He supports universal health care and universal pre-K. So this is another big, big topic and uh, policy that I'm very supportive of. Of course, if you want to be my candidate and you want me to vote for you, you have to support Medicare for All. If you do not support some form of Medicare for All, I will not give you my vote. It's just that simple. I've, uh, you know, through my entire I mean, I'm, I'm only 19, but every time that I voted, um, I make sure that the candidate supports Medicare for all before I give them my vote. I mean, why would I give you my vote if you're not going to support a, the, the biggest policy to me? And I think universal health care is something that we, we need. And especially at this point with all this COVID stuff going around, you know, we especially, especially need universal health care in the United States of America. I mean, it's the richest country in the history of the world. We can do it. Quit, t quit telling us we can't because we know we can do it. He's also in favor of raising the minimum wage uh, to a family supporting wage. Not really sure what that means. Um, that was actually said in 2006, so the it probably wasn't popular opinion to say $15 an hour. I'm sure he is actually for $15 an hour now, which is good because um, I think uh, at a minimum, by definition, minimum wage should be $15 an hour. He opposes U.S. military intervention for regime change. He's against regime cha regime change wars. So if you're a Tulsi person, if you're uh, you know someone that came in supporting Tulsi, and Tulsi's out of the race now, um, and you need a candidate that's actually against regime change wars, um, he might be your guy. Uh, Howie Hawkins could be your guy just because he's against regime change wars. I mean that makes all the sense in the world. You just go from one to the other. And, you know, a lot of people, listen, side note real quick, a lot of people say third party candidates don't matter, right? They're not going to win. But listen, if you get enough support for a third party candidate, um, other, other parties will have to implement their policies into their party if they want to stay relevant because these this is a clearly a large group of people that are their voices are being unheard so if you want to incorporate these people's voices you want to gain that extra five percent then you better include that in your party platform you know what i'm saying so yeah to win these voters over you have to include uh something of the sort in your party um he's also against nafta he wants to impeach trump um, he wants a uh, national health service uh, in controlled by a community, which is interesting. Uh, he wants to cut the military budget by 75%. I've already said that. Um, and he's actually against all nuclear weapons, which is pretty freaking cool, man. We haven't had a president um, that was against nuclear weapons, against even the United States having nuclear weapons, um, like, whatever. Uh, so that'd be pretty cool, you know, but of course, Howie Hawkins isn't going to win. He's just a policy driven candidate, uh, trying to get his voice out, trying to get these opinions heard, trying to get these thoughts in mainstream politics. So yeah, is he being successful at that? Sure. But also I wanted to talk about these politics to break them down for us to talk about them. And yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say. This is pretty much the entire policy breakdown of his. If y'all want more candidates done, there's a couple other third party obscure candidates. Um, there's another guy from the American Solidarity Party. I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but I actually, you know, I'd love to, to break down his policies because it's really, really interesting. He's pretty much the opposite of a libertarian, the polar opposite. So yeah, if you want to talk about that, we can for sure.
um but yeah with that being said that's all i have for today sorry i haven't been posting videos uh it's just been kind of hard to do with all this madness going on i'm working like 36 hours a week so it's kind of hard especially with homework i really have no time so yeah i'm just trying to push out this video as quick as i can kind of talk to you guys for a little bit but at the end of the day i hope you guys all enjoy my name is clay i'm out